In this video, I'm going to show you to do a polar alignment if you're in the southern hemisphere because honestly, there weren't that many good videos on YouTube that clearly showed the process. So um, as a side note, if you have a Star Tracker and you're still a little bit confused, you can always head over to my website. I've got a full length tutorial for the four main Star Trackers. And that's where I have over 10 hours of content showing you what camera settings to use, how to actually set it up in the field as well as post-processing. But today we're just looking at how to do a simple polar alignment for the Southern Hemisphere. So the first thing I wanna make sure that we all understand is what we're really trying to do, regardless of what hemisphere we're in, is align our star tracker and our polar scope directly to the celestial pole, either the North or South Pole. So if I open up the equatorial grid here, here we can see the South Pole. And this is what we wanna have dead center in our crosshair of our polar scope, that's really what our ultimate goal is. Now, unfortunately for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you don't necessarily have a North Star to help with your alignment. So it's gonna make things a little bit more complicated. However, you do have the uh, series of stars called the Sigma Octanus Cluster. And I'm gonna see if I can even find these right now because they're definitely not as easy as the North Star. And this is going to be your, your same problem you're going to have when you're on location is, you know, where are these stars at? How do I find them? And uh, frankly, I'm having a bit of trouble right now. So this is a great reason why you should have Stellarium on your phone. And this is going to help us out. So next one, we look at Stellarium on the phone. And what we'll see once we load this up is that we can go down to the bottom and we can turn on the equatorial grid too, right on the smartphone. And then from there, we want to click the little phone icon. And then now we can actually point our phone so we're at least facing south. And we can even use our fingers to zoom in in real time. And at that point, what we're trying to do is find Polaris Australis. And I can see this if we come back to Stellarium here on the computer right here. That's kind of like your version of the North Star if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. So the next thing I want to do now that I'm more or less orientated when I'm on location, I'm facing south, is figure out which stars I need to actually find. And I finally see them now here five minutes later. So they're in a different configuration than I was used to. But what we're looking for is always one, two, three, and four. Kind of like a W, but without the little peak in the middle. So this might be a little bit easier if I go through our time. This is the way I'm used to seeing them myself. So we have one, two, three, and four. And the lower right star is always going to be Polaris Australis. Again, kind of like a little W. That's the star pattern that we're looking for rather than the North Star for those of us in the Southern Hemisphere. So if I turn on my equatorial grid again here in Stellarium, we can see they're just a little bit off center from the South Pole, which is why we're gonna use these. All right, so that's step one, is to find South when you're on location. And also, if it's possible with your naked eye, see if you can find those stars. And from this far out, this is probably what it's gonna look like if you're in a very dark location. But from here, it almost looks like a V right there. So we'll need the polar scope to actually zoom in enough to even probably see the smaller star there. Uh, but again, it's this little tiny W pattern. It's going to be pretty hard for you guys. But that's step one is get on location, find south, and get your star tracker facing somewhere due south. Next, we're going to use another app to help us fine tune our polar alignment. Regardless of which star tracker you have, I recommend everybody download the SAM console app, also known as the Star Adventure mini console app. This is a free download for iPhone and Android. And this is mainly used to control the Star Adventure mini, but we can still use it regardless which tracker we have. So once we open up the SAM console app, we can go to the polar clock utility. And then from here, we can see our polar scope. Again, this is gonna be more geared towards your Skywatcher models, but uh, we'll see what else we can do with it. So the first thing I need to do is go over to location. And then from here, I wanna make sure I have my use location sensor enabled. And it's actually gonna tell me my current latitude and longitude. And that latitude is gonna be very critical because that's gonna be what we dial in to our base. So with that number there, we're just gonna use our altitude adjustment on our base and dial that in. And now at this point, if we come back here to Slarum, our star track will be pointed right up, right around the South Pole once you have that number dialed in correctly. And again, we have our four stars we're looking for right here. So our star tracker should now be pointed somewhere up at this altitude. Then if we go back to the polar clock utility, click on Southern Hemisphere, now we can see the position where those four stars should be at inside of our polar scope. 
what we need to do is actually rotate our either our polar scope or our entire camera mount around until our polar scope matches what's seen in the app. So we'll just rotate that around until the stars match the position we see here on the app. That way the stars are lined up as they actually are currently in the night sky. That's the next big step. And then finally, all we have to do now is fine tune our adjustments. So we're gonna use our altitude and azimuth adjustment knobs on our base. And we're gonna try and get those four stars inside of the uh, polar scope, just like we see here. They should even kind of like fill in those little holes on our polar scope reticle. Once we've gotten that as close as possible, we can tighten everything down and we've just done a precise polar alignment for the Southern Hemisphere on either our Skywatch or Star Adventure or the Star Adventure Mini. And that's the one reason I really like these two trackers, especially if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, is that they have this really great polar scope to help. However, I'm sure some of you are using a Ioptron model or maybe even something else. And that makes things a little bit more difficult. So next we're gonna go over to the Polar Finder app. And you don't necessarily have to have the Polar Finder app specifically, but uh, whatever you're using for your polar alignment. In this case, I'm gonna click on the wrench. I wanna make sure my hemisphere is set to Southern. And I'm actually gonna change the reticle type from Ioptron to Star Adventure very quickly, and then go back. And what we'll see is that same four star pattern that we've come accustomed to at this point. Now, the trick is, remember, if we come back here to Styrum again, I already see the pattern, but that's because I've been looking at this for a while. So we've got our four stars, one, two, three, and four. This lower right star is going to be our most important one. This is Polaris Australis. And this is going to be your North Star, more or less. So keep that in mind. So let's go back to the app now. And I want to use that same star. So in this case, it's the upper, well, same one, uh, the one on the bottom. And then I'm going to go back to my reticle type, put it to Ioptron. And now we're only seeing a single star here on a reticle. That's because it's only using Polaris Australis now, not all four, just the one. And that's where things kind of get complicated with the Ioptron, but now you understand what that star is and where to actually put it. And you'll do the same thing as we did on the uh, other models. You adjust your azimuth and altitude to get Polaris Australis just like you see here in your own reticle. And then at that point, you've done your polar alignment. So really that's about all there is to it. I mean, realistically, if you're shooting at a wide angle, all you have to do is find south. Again, you can use Stellarium on your phone to help you find south. Dial in your latitude. You can use the SAM console app to find your current latitude for free. And then dial that in on your base. Your base should now be facing south and it should be somewhere angled up here. And then from there, if you really wanna get precise, you can line up the stars exactly. But again, as long as you're relatively close to pointing towards the south pole, that's all you have to do. And uh, that's about all I have for you today. I hope this really cleared up that process and really showed you exactly what you need to do, especially with your own Star Tracker. If you wanna learn even more though about Star Trackers, you can always head over to my website and I've got a full length tutorial for all of the different trackers here. So there's over 10 hours of content for each tracker, including how to set it up, the proper way to actually use it for wide angle or telephoto, and even post-processing. There's over seven hours of post-processing tutorials for each tracker. Um, I mean, they're all the same thing. It's part of my uh, astrophotography post-processing course, which um, you can check that out if you want to. There's some links there. Finally, if you're still deciding which tracker to go with, um, there's probably a few of you, I do have a full blog post here that covers everything you possibly need to know about all the different trackers. So this should really help you figure out which tracker is going to work best for your own needs. And with that, uh, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, polar alignment for the Southern Hemisphere tutorial and I'll catch you in a future video.